Fiskars would like to present Stephanie, our content and social media manager and Fisketeer legend. She will show us a tr trimmer technique that cuts out a window using the horizontal and vertical rulers rather than making full cuts. Hi everybody, so today we're going to make the base of a card. This is not our finished card, but this at least shows you how to make a little window to put some pattern paper behind in your card. And what I'm going to do is show you how to cut within here to make that square. So I've pre-cut my paper using my paper trimmer. This is the Fiskar Sure Cut Paper Trimmer. I'm going to unlock right here um, so that the bar will go up and down. And then I will open up the arm so that you can see this is a 12 inch by 6 inch piece of paper. And I'm measuring off the center right here of this little groove where the blade's going to cut. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the 5 inch mark okay, with my one edge. Along the side here are all of the same inch markings that are along here. And we're going to use these to help guide our cuts. So the edge is always going to be on five along here. I have it all the way up against the paper fence. That's what we call this little ridge of plastic. And we're going to push it all the way up against that so that it's flush all the way across. And then I get a nice straight line along here. I'm going to actually lift this up a little bit and slide my blade down to the one inch mark. And then I'm going to put it back down. And you'll notice that there is a line right here down the center of the blade. That shows the center exactly where it's going to cut. And then there's a lot, little tiny line across here, and that also shows the middle. So the middle of the blade where it's cutting is right dead center in the little handle. So I want to get that as close to one as I can. I'm going to push down, and I'm actually going to cut that down to five. So I've made my first cut, and then I'm going to stop. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to rotate my paper again, lining it up at five on this side. I'm going to lay this back down. I'm going to get my blade right on the 5 here, push down, and I'm going to go back up to that 1, and then stop again, repeat the process. And now because I've got the fold here, we're going to pretend that the paper ends, and I'm actually going to line the fold up at the 5. I'm starting back at 1, and sliding it all the way back down to the 5. We're going to turn it again, and I'm just going to flip it over. It's a little bit easier that way. And then line it up again at the 5 one more time. Push down all the way back up to 1. And when I'm done, my square pops out of my center. I can take my pattern paper that I have, adhere that underneath there, and then the base of the card's done, and I can go back in and add all of the other embellishments to finish off the card. And you can do this with other measurements, any measurements you want, any size card you want to create that little window inside your card. Thanks for stopping by!